All right, girls. Let's go outside and play. So this year I wound up taking a little bit of time off right at, uh, well, for the, uh, the whole holiday season I took off. And like I went from like the 24th of December all that evening, all, uh, all the way through, um, yeah, the 26th. Um, and then we got busy, you know, get a little self-service stand going. Uh, we have a piece of property. It's about a, maybe about a half mile here from here that we own that it housed all of our bees. Um, I think going into winter, we had like 15 hives this year. We've had some losses, but, um, essentially it was a bad it was a bad location and we wanted to to get it changed out get them relocated to another piece of property which is actually coincidentally right behind our house um so we wanted to get them relocated um and that took a little bit of effort because we wanted to make new stands and obviously you know my equipment was pretty old so we wanted to get some of that changed um so after a great deal of effort of building equipment and setting up stands and uh, waiting for the right time, you know, we were able to get them moved over from the old property to the new property and all during the winter, of course, you know, so you don't want to stress out the bees too much, but we did get them finally moved over here and um, we're pretty happy with the way that turned out. Um, now we've got We've got locations here for um, 20 hives plus uh, plus a nuke yard. And of course the big ticket item and effort was associated with getting um, getting our equipment up to speed. We got new, new deep boxes, we got new supers, you know, lots of foundation, lots of um, frames got got the new nukes new nuke boxes done i got some stuff for sale you know because if you're going to build some build some extra try and recover some of your cost at least uh new bottom boards new tops and then a bunch of old equipment that um i'll actually wind up sorting through and getting going uh, queen incubator set up got a wax candle making station got uh, wax melter say station for um, for rolling wax got a recovery station here for steaming wax uh, for rendering I've got my half combs ready to go I got wax foundation uh, thin wax foundation for cut comb ready to go um, I need a couple more frames and a couple more foundation to get them waxed and we're ready for the honey flow. Folks, I've even got swarm traps out. It is the first week of March in East Tennessee. That's saying something. So I tell you all this, not as an effort to brag, but I think it is important to kind of tell you that, you know, essentially for two months I checked out, went about my business, you know, got fully engrossed in the activities that were at hand, which is, you know, all about bees. If you know a beekeeper, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, or are a beekeeper, you know what I'm talking about. At what point does your hobby become more? So it's clear this is getting out of hand. Who needs this many chickens? We've already got chickens. <laughs>